Hey guys, thanks for the click. In my last video, I cut out a large sign that was double the size of my laser bed in one direction. And after the sign was cut, I cut out another large piece of quarter inch Baltic birch to use as a sturdy backing. I took the backing to the garage to apply a few coats of gray spray paint. Once it was dry, I took it back to my craft room for glue. I flipped the sign over to apply a good helping of glue onto the back side. I then flipped it back over onto the gray backing, ensuring that all sides were aligned. I then placed some pieces of 1x4 material over the sign and I placed heavy 1 gallon containers on top of the 1x4s. This will help distribute the weight. After a few hours of dry time, I removed all the weights and 1x4s and moved on to the next step. I now begin to cut out all the acrylic pieces that I will stick to this sign. I am now cutting out all the black acrylic and on the back of this acrylic is 3M double sided adhesive. I now remove all the pieces from the Mira 7. And does anyone know what this symbol is supposed to represent in the Eon logo? Let me know. I now start to cut out all the other colors including the 1 8 inch gold mirrored acrylic that I think will make this sign pop. And finally I begin to engrave Lucy onto a piece of masked 1 8 inch Baltic birch. When done engraving and cutting, I remove the piece and I take it to my garage. I then begin to give it a few coats of black spray paint. When thoroughly dry, I take it back to my craft room and I start to remove the masking. I now separate and organize all the pieces onto a workbench. I now place the sign adjacent to the pieces to start the sign assembly. I grab the first acrylic piece and I remove the protective backing off the 3M double sided adhesive and I place the piece on the sign and I stick it down. The scored lettering on the sign makes for easy placement of the letters. As I finish up this quick sign build, if you would like more information on Eon Lasers, please click on my partner link below and then click on the contact us button. If you found this video helpful, make sure to mention Rico Hernandez in the referral field. Or if you decide to DM or call them, tell them Rico Hernandez sent you. Please help me get compensated so I can continue to do what I love, playing with my laser and bringing you some fresh content. Well guys, this brings me to the end of this quick build. All I have to do now is remove the masking. And I find this step the most satisfying part of the build. Because it is at this time you begin to reveal the final piece. The more and more you unmask, the more you feel that all the effort was worth it. So guys, to end this video, I want to thank you for clicking in. I really do appreciate it. So in conclusion, if it happens in my world or the Mira 7, I'll try to make a video of it. So until my next video, thank you, have a great day, and God bless.